Kakalosh Boker Tov, we're just continuing with Halachol, but I wanted to mention a very important Halachah of Kriyat Torah. Listen to the Shulchan Aruch says in Siman Kufla Metet as follows, when a person is going to go up to the Torah, Omer Barechu Ve'aberachot Asefer, or he says, Kodom She'yivarech Ve'ro'eh Ha'pasuk She'tzarich La'tchil Bo Ve'achak Ye'yivarech, which means that right before you're going to make the Barechah on the Sefer Torah, you're going to look at the Pasuk that you're going to start. And we already know the, the Minhag is brought down in Shadeh Ephraim and other places as well. The Minhag is to take the Talit and we kiss the place in order to show that it's precious to us. So therefore, the Mishnah Barah says the reason why we're doing it is, is to show where we're starting to read, what we're making the Bracha on. However, though, we first come and we see the place, we come and we make the Bracha. However, though, says Maran, Ulachar shekore shekara golel umvarech. After coming and making the Bracha, you do Gilila, which means you close the Sefer Torah, and then you make the bracha. What does that mean? Says the Mishnah Bura, it means to say, we do not do gelila at the beginning the, during the time of the bracha. And we're not going to say that the brachot are mentioned, which means this. Some people have the minhag, you'll see. They come up to the Torah right away, they want to do barachu, they close the Sefer Torah. Mistake number one. Why is that a mistake? Mistake is because number one, you don't need to close it at the beginning. Why not? Says the Mishnah Bura, I'm not going to think that the brachot are written inside. Number one. Number two also, he says, tircha de tzibura. Meaning, the fact that you're waiting, even if it's going to be for three seconds, for the person to close the Sefer Torah, that is called Tircha de Tzibura. But rather, what do you do? You leave it open. However, though, says the Mishnah Brura, Pivracha Acharona, and the last Bracha, you don't have that reason. There's no like a, why? Because anyway, you have to be Golet Sefer Torah and Gavra de Gavra. So therefore, he says, so there you close the Sefer Torah. Why? Now you close the Sefer Torah, but anyway, between Aliyot, you should have the Sefer Torah closed, and therefore, then what you're going to do it. That is the Shita of the Mishnah Brura, which means one more time, even according to Ashkenazim, before you start the Sefer Torah, you do not close the Sefer Torah, you leave the Sefer Torah open, you make the Brachot, when you finish, you close the Sefer Torah and you make a Brachah. However though, that's not Shita Maran. Shita Maran, and this is the Minhag of Morocco, and Minhag of almost all the Sfaradim, as you will see by Edot Mizrach, that they never close the Sefer Torah. They cover the Ktav, Masez Maran, Nagu lechasot haketav besudar ben gavra le gavra. Between aliyot, we never close the Sefer Torah. You cover it with a mapa. You cover it with a cloth. And he says here in the Mishnah Bura, what does that mean? Even though minadim that Sefer Torah should be megulelet, as is brought out in Siv Dalet, the minhag was to leave the Sefer Torah patuach, and instead of closing it, we cover it with a sudar. And that was the minhag of all of Edot Mizrach, whether it's the, the Chalabim, the, the, they leave the Sefer Torah open, and they come and they cover it with the mapa that you have there. Moroccans, you always had a mapa that you had on top. You never close the Sefer Torah. Not for Berachar Yishona, because it's going to be Tircha de Tzibura, and not for Berachar Haruna. Another concept of Tircha de Tzibura, by the way, I love actually the Ashkenazim do this the best, that when they're going to come, even for the Misha Berachs, before giving the Misha Berach, they will first call the next Oleh. Why? Many times you call a person to come up to the Tola, and by the time they come, they don't realize that they have to run. Right? You have to run to the Sefer Torah. No, well, they come, they take their time. It says you're supposed to come up and go down. But what, so you're supposed to go quick. Why? You don't want people to wait. So what happens is they call the person up, and while the person's coming up, then they do the Mishaberach for the previous person. The truth is that's the best way to do it, because again, the concept of Tircha de Tzibura is when you're not, no, not doing anything. As long as we're speaking and we're doing something, there's no Tircha de Tzibura. But if everyone's just like this, and just waiting quietly, that's when Tircha de Tzibura comes into place. And we had a Mishmar on the entire concept of Tircha de Tzibura just a few weeks ago, but that's the same concept as Hashem.